everyone! So today we're going to talk about gum getting stuck in your hair and this is an awful experience because I got gum stuck in my hair a couple days ago and this subject actually wasn't important to me till it actually happened to me because I was freaking out. It felt like a disaster because I really didn't want to cut a chunk of my hair um, off and so I actually found a lot of methods online of how you can remove gum from your hair but the one that I used was olive oil and that's the only thing that you need and that's why I love it so much because all you need is olive oil. The key in removing gum from your hair is oil and I'm sure that if you have vegetable oil, canola, corn, um, sunflower seed oil or anything that you can use it to remove the gum from your hair and you can even use peanut butter but the main key in the peanut butter is oil so instead of kind of having that smelly peanut residue left over in your hair I think oil is probably the best method to remove gum from your hair. This is very simple what you're going to just do is take a small amount of olive oil and I just took the cap of the olive oil that I have and um, use that and then pour the olive oil into the cap and kind of drizzle a tiny amount of it little by little into the gum and kind of use my fingers rub the gum and the oil intertwining them and um, letting the oil loosen the gum up in my hair and this worked so well I was very impressed with it I did lose a little bit of hair I'm not gonna lie just because I think at one point I was a little stressed about it and I wasn't as gentle as I could have been but I think that if you were a lot more gentle than I was then you won't have a problem with that. Leave the olive oil in your hair for a couple minutes then after that you just kind of use your fingers to pull the gum downward and out of your hair and if you have long hair I think it will be a little more difficult for you to do this than if you have short hair because you know the long hair there's a lot more hair for you to kind of get the gum out. That was basically it and towards the end if you have bits of gum that's still stuck in your hair that looks kind of flaky what you can do is use a comb just to brush it out. I actually got my boyfriend to help me also to help remove some of the gum because it was stuck in the back of my head and then after that what I did was shampoo and condition my hair like regular just to get the oil out of my hair. That is how you get gum out of your hair and if you would like to stay tuned and hear my um, update and rambling then please stay tuned. I also did something different to my face today and I'm not sure if you guys notice. Can you guess what it is? Okay so I have this really bad habit of chewing gum and putting on uh, Blech. and putting it on my nightstand. I always kind of roll into a little ball and then put it on my bedside and I always tell myself that I'm going to throw it out later and just a really really bad habit I know and this time I kind of learned a little lesson from it to never do that again because after doing that I laid down and the gum somehow fell from my nightstand, got into my hair and it was a terrible disaster. I was just freaking out just because a couple days before this happened, two days or a day before this happened, I burned my hair. Yes, I burned my hair. Um, I was cutting honeydew in the kitchen and right next to me was a candle and my hair was kind of just like in a huge bun thingy. Sorry to get the phone. But my hair is in just like this bun and there was frizzy hair coming out of it and when I was looking down to cut the honeydew, I burned my hair. I just heard this, it sounded like sand spilling out of like something. It's just like this weird like sizzling sandy noise and I just paused, looked up really fast and part of me had this instinct that my hair had burned but I wasn't too sure about it so I slowly just kind of touched the bun and yeah it was burnt. It was so terrifying because I didn't know how much hair I had burned off so I rushed in the bathroom took my bun out and thankfully it's only the top layer that's burned off and like really short so it doesn't really seem like I burned a lot of hair off but like I burned a lot of hair off in this top section. The lesson to you kids is that never cut 
or do anything by a candle because if you look down or whatever, you can get your hair burned like me. And another thing that I'm really excited about is Chinese New Year is coming up. The thing is, this year is the year of the dragon, which is my year. There's just like superstition that if it's your year, like the year of your birth or whatever, your animal, that it can either go really well or really wrong. And I feel that this year might be a good year for me since all of the bad luck seemed to have ended, I hope. So I did burn my hair and I did have gum stuck in my hair and this happened this past week. And a couple months ago, I actually got electrocuted. And I feel like when I say this to people, no one really believes me because it's like, oh, you got electrocuted. Like, it sounds so surreal, but it was just terrible because I was in the kitchen again. This is like the place of my demise because I always get hurt in this kitchen for some reason. And I just finished washing dishes. My hands were kind of damp and usually when I pull plugs out of the outlet, I kind of put like my the tip of my finger under, you know, so, to pull it because I don't really want to pull on the wire and like have it later damaged from like doing that so much. I pulled it out and my finger was damp and it touched the metal part of the plug, I guess, whatever you call it, and I got electrocuted. It was seriously the most horrifying thing in my life. I honestly thought that I was going to die in my kitchen. And since I live alone, like, no one would discover me till like, days later when my corpse is, like, rotting. This is so morbid. This is, like, a, the morbid part of the story. But when this is happening, I actually heard this weird noise. When you get ele electrocuted, not, like, a zap, literally electrocuted, this is, this was, like, for a couple seconds, I think. I heard this weird buzzing noise, and my body just had this really scary feeling. I just don't know how to s describe it. It was just scary. Since all that bad luck was in the past year, hopefully the good luck will come my way and good things will be happening to me. So yeah. So ever since my new year video, I was kind of MIA with like making videos and I just wanted to give you guys an update of what I've been up to, kind of all the bad things that have happened to me. <laughs> And hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. But yeah, and also share with you guys my gum and the hair experience. I saw a lot of videos of people doing this and a lot of the time, okay, well most of the time, I didn't see actual gums being stuck in their hair. They were just explaining it. So I didn't think it was like too helpful because they were just saying it and like it didn't really happen. Debating if I should do like a present sharing video of like all the stuff I got for Christmas but I don't know I feel like I didn't really get a lot of stuff for Christmas because the only person that really got me anything is like my boyfriend and my siblings but my parents didn't get me anything which isn't nice of them because I got them stuff if you guys want to see that then leave a comment below and I'll share it with you guys um, if not then you know you don't have to and I'm getting new contacts tomorrow it, like, I noticed that a lot of people have been asking me, why do you hate your eye color? Are you against your brown eye color? Like, why do you always wear blue contacts and all this stuff? These contacts are actually gray. And I only have one pair of contacts. Unfortunately, I've been saving up to get, like, a year supply, but contacts are definitely not cheap. So I've been trying to save money to get new contacts, and I was hoping that my parents would have gotten them for me for Christmas, but they didn't. So I'm going to go and splurge on myself and get myself some new contacts. I'm probably just going to get like clearer ones. And so after tomorrow, to those who have been hassling me about my contacts and why I keep wearing these, I'm going to wear clearer ones and you guys are going to miss these. If you want to know more stuff that I've been doing, feel free to follow me on Twitter and Facebook or whatever. I will link them below. They're always below. I always have like the essential links below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!